Welcome back to another cooking session. We're cooking from copycat recipes from Disney World and other places in Disney. But today we're doing one from Disney World, actually from Animal Kingdom. We're going to be making today the cheeseburger pods from Satouli Canteen, which is in the Pandora Land at Animal Kingdom, one of our favorite areas to visit. The floating mountains are amazing. Okay, so today's recipe is the cheeseburger steam pods. We have to get the um, the bun part of it, the, the pod part of it prepped and uh, resting so it can rise. So we okay, now we're making um, the pods for the buns for the cheeseburger steam pods. So flour, yeast, and then water. Now we're going to put it on the attachment for the bread. Okay, we have our dough now in our grease bowl and we're going to cover it with a little bit of saran wrap and then we have to set it aside to let rise for one hour or until it doubles in size. So now I'm going to... I like to put my dough to rise in my oven. Ve vegetable oil. Uh, ketchup and mustard, shredded cheese, our hamburger. Uh, this is ch uh, chopped onion and garlic and salt and pepper. Add our oil and the recipe called for vegetable oil, not uh, extra virgin olive oil. Now we're going to add the onions and garlic. Nice sizzle. Uh, now we're ready, ready to add the ground beef. You want to cook it until it's no longer pink. Uh, while the ground beef is cooking, add the, your salt and pepper. Now we have to drain our meat. Place in another bowl. Now we're going to add our ketchup and mustard into the pan. Restaurant. Remember, everything is mobile ordering now on your phone uh, with the pandemic and everything. The dough has doubled. Have lots of extra flour. You can always just move it to the side. But now we have to roll it out into a log. But it's still quite sticky, so I'm gonna keep adding flour. less sticky, still a little bit, and then I'll just... Okay, I'm gonna roll this out. This is gonna be where our meat goes. So you place this in one hand. There we go. Now we're gonna take about two tablespoons of the mixture roughly. Just eyeball it. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese on the top. And now with this hand, we have to pinch it closed.
and then we put it in our basket. Okay, so now we have our cheeseburger pods in our steamer basket. And in our steamer basket, I forgot to show, there's a piece of parchment paper. We're using our rice cooker and vegetable steamer. The water is boiling. There's about two inches of water. So now we're gonna put our steamer basket on, put the lid on, and set a timer for 15 minutes. And then after that, we will shut it off and let it rest for five minutes in the steamer basket. And they're done. Ready? How do you eat that? So this did not turn out exactly as we had planned but there's always a backup. The backup plan is to use canned biscuits. Okay, so now we're just gonna fold this over, pinch, 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 and now I'm just taking the fork and forking it. No, I'm, it's called crimping, it's not forking. It's just my humor. <laughs> Delay reaction. <laughs> well, the biscuits seem to be so much uh, quicker. Mm -hmm. Go. Now we're we have the one steaming, the second batch with the um, the prepared dough from the can. Now we're going to make a few and try in the air fryer. See which ones we like better. So now I'm just getting these ready to get in the air fryer. I don't know timing and all that as of yet. I have to figure that part out on the fly, you know. All right, here's our air fryer basket. It's ready to go. Timing and all that. So turn it on. I'm gonna do 350 and I'm gonna let it go for five minutes first. Oh, those look good and toasty. Mm -hmm. That's the air fryer. This is the air fryer version, but we're gonna flip them and give them another cook because you can see they're not cooked on the other side. Oh. So as carefully as you can. Oh, that one's opening. Flip them. It's a wee bit tight fire version. Just one off. And these look very cooked. Nice and crispy. Place all those. Right there. Yep, Tony. Ready? Ready. Hmm. This is the biscuit version. So again, this is the original recipe version right here. And then we did some with the biscuit dough in the air fryer, version two. And then here we did some with the biscuit dough in the air and the steamer basket. So these are steamed. 
Okay, this is the version from the, the recipe book, the copycat recipe book. It's a big fail for us. I gave it a big fail. It's not an easy recipe as far as the flour and this one is done in the air fryer with um, with Pillsbury Brands um, biscuits, prepared biscuits. And then this version is done in the steamer basket the exact same way as this was cooked. 15 minutes and then five minutes to rest. This is also the Pillsbury Grand. So we have version one, version two. Uh, the recipe book was a fail. So now we're gonna try these versions. I don't think I need a fork for this. No. Mm. Look how nice and melty that is. Mm. This I give a thumbs up. This version is good. Mm -hmm. This is good. But this is not like the version at the Disney park. No. So no. now let's try the version, this version that is. These are hot. Yeah, these are hot. They just came out. And they are cooked, they're just steamed. I give this version a thumbs up too. This version is good. So, skip. It's a little hot, but this is good too. Skip the dough out of the book. Make it with these, so much easier. It's my tip to you. And you can even do it in the air fryer or your steamer uh, basket. And I just used our rice cooker as our steamer basket, but this version is good. It's very yummy. Good. If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing. Give us a like, a comment, question down below. And until next time, bye for now. <laughs>